All right, everyone, we are back with Brad's 1987 IROC-Z. Installation's complete. He should be picking it up in the next day or so. So we got our speed kits installed, front speed kit three, rear speed kit two. And I have uh, Matt here. He's gonna tell us a little bit more about the parts we put on the car. So we just did all of our bolt-on stuff on this thing. Uh, front speed kit three. It's got single adjustable JRI shocks. It's got our really nifty caster camber plates here. You got two or lower control arms as well as the sway bar kit and additional chassis brace, also known as the wonder bar. Uh, so I don't know if you guys can see all that down there. It also it. has our front coil springs with the weight jack kit. Uh, doing the weight jack on the front instead of a traditional coilover gives you more tire clearance. Uh, if you run a coilover, you don't get as much back space. So being that this thing will be on forge lines in the future, uh, it's just, we did that for tire fitment reasons. It does have coilovers on the rear, also a single adjustable JRI. So how much, how much drop do we get here? Uh, the kit's based around two inches of drop. It is adjustable, so you can go lower or higher based on your taste. But uh, geometry wise, two inches is, is what we designed it around. And that's plenty too. It gives it a perfect stance. So, what's unique about these caster camber plates? It's got our uh, star adjusters, so you've got you've got quite a bit of range of adjustment. The stars are labeled there, so you've got a zero, eighth, and sixteenth uh, offset in the stars, as well as these quarter inch adjustments here as well. Uh, so you can actually record your alignment settings if you're you're doing daily driven duties and then you want to go do autocross or track day you can record your alignment settings and and easily get back to where you were set up before yeah, that's pretty cool right there and this also has our uh, our new strut mount retainers on it as well right yep yep brand new strut mount retainers uh, they're uh, similar to the factory stamp steel with press and studs they're actually really really nice really affordable uh, that's one part that on a lot of cars gets rusted out and or the studs get damaged so and it looks it, they look oe yeah they so do. They it look looks factory identical. so let's uh walk over to the rear and again i guess this is two inch drop in the rear as well yep right around two inches uh it's got the single adjustable jris an actual coilover with our coilover uh, adapter brackets it's got the swivel link lowers uh, one inch rear sway bar and then our adjustable pan hard bar as well. And it still uses torque arm? Yep, factory torque arm at the moment. Uh, depending on what he wants to do down the road, as far as his LS swap and everything, he could do do a different torque arm setup or maybe he will want to do the quarter link if he decides he wants to get a little bit more serious with the car. It's probably too dark, see if we can get up under there. It's a little dark, but. That's pretty cool. So yeah, this car is, uh, it was a quick turnaround. You know, we're done with it now, and Brad's gonna pick it up, and I guess he'll probably just drive it like this for a little bit before he takes it over to PCM and gets his LS3, and what else is he gonna do, a T56? Uh, yeah, possibly a T56. Uh... It'll probably get a rear axle built for it. It's just got the 10 bolt right now, so that probably wouldn't be very happy with the LS3. Definitely not. But yeah, so like we said before, this is a, a quick turnaround. You know, Brad just kind of stopped into the shop and just picked this car up and wanted our stuff on it, and now he's ready to roll. So while we're here, there's another little thing we'd like to tease for you. So we have a new product in the works for third gens. There's the identification tag for it right there. So we'll go over to the uh, DSEZ and show you that. So Matt, what do we have going on here? That's our strut tower brace. Uh, we'll have it offered in the three point or two point design. It's a laser cut, press bent part, super strong, super light easy to install so pretty excited about it 
It'd be one more one more nice addition to the the lineup of stuff. So yeah, we should have this in the next month or so coming in the works. And also, we can give you a good look at those uh, strut mount retainers as well. So yeah, they have that OE quality finish. And it just looks factory under the car. So yeah, that's what we have going on. Brad's car is finished. So he'll come pick it up today or tomorrow, either one. I guess what else new do we have going on up here? So there's a 6th gen. Hooker Blackheart and the guys at Holly, they let us borrow that. So this has our uh, coilovers, front and rear, and rear coilover tower brace. We did just install the Holly EFI on the Mustang as well. That is true. We could show them that. See, Holly sent us over their uh, sniper EFI for our 65 shop car. Look at that. You wouldn't even know. Just looks factory. And it's gold too, so it matches the accents we have on the air cleaner and the valve covers. Yeah, that was a pretty simple install as well. I think they did it in a day, day and a half. You know, really just changing the existing plumbing around was the most work. Wiring wise, pretty darn simple. That's pretty cool. We're excited about that. Because, you know, this car, I mean, I think out of most of the test cars, this gets the most mileage because, you know, we drive this to and from nearly every show. And Kyle drives it quite a bit throughout the week as well, so it, it does get the miles put on it pretty quick. So, yeah. So, that's what we have going on in here. Brad's car's done. I know you guys were excited to see that. And just a quick update on everything else we have going on here. So, we'll see you guys soon.